So in this video, we're going to show how to use the iPad editor with the VR09. Now, a lot of you guys are asking, why would I need the iPad editor for the VR09? Because already there's a lot of great real-time control knobs here, and I got my sliders. Well, here, let me show you why. So when we're in the synth side of the VR09, the organ draw bars here become synth parameters, basic synth parameters such as attack, decay, release, cutoff, and resonance. And I love uh, adjusting all these. They're very fun, very easy to adjust, and just a lot of fun. Now, if we want to go deeper into like the synth nerd editing, we can do that. With the editor here, you see that I can go in down into the partial level. Now, this is the basic of the oscillators here. So I can have up three oscillators going at the same time. I can choose the different waveforms. I can go deep into here. I can get my filter, different type of filters, ADSR. I can adjust my amp. And for my guys that like to do the wobble bass or different LFO effects, I can hit the LFO tab, and now I can adjust my different shapes of LFO and modulation LFO. So check it out. Say I go ahead and let's go ahead and crank up maybe the resonance here. And I'm going to hit a note right with my left hand and balance. Don't try this at home. Check it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and adjust my cutoff. And as you see, we have full control of the VR09 with the editor. So now let's switch over to the organ side. All I have to do is press organ on the VR09, and you see that the app automatically switches to the organ parameters. Now the app and the VR09 are bi-directional. Okay, so if I move stuff here or touch stuff here, it automatically adjusts both, you know, adjust. So some of the different parameters we can adjust inside the organ side might take us a little bit more to get into if we're using the keyboard. Doesn't mean we can't do it, just takes it a little bit longer. So things I want to adjust quickly on the fly when I'm playing a real gig, maybe leakage, key click on and off. Maybe I want to adjust how my rotary speaker kind of ramps up and ramps down. And we can totally do that with the app. So as you can see, the Vero 9 is very easy to control using just the knobs and the sliders. But if you want to get even deeper and get into the nerd side of the synth and just really get a lot more control, you can get the iPad editor and it's going to really complement the VR09, which in turn will complement your playing and your performance.